New at noon, a foul-smelling mess in the Bronx has turned into a neighborhood's worst nightmare. More than three years ago, we reported on complaints to the city about a Throg's Neck home with unsanitary items taking over the front and backyards. Monday, it went up in flames, and now neighbors tell CBS News' Lisa Rosner it's created new problems that they are again begging the city to address. This heap of burnt out items at this Balcom Avenue home is something neighbors say they saw coming. Chopper 2 Monday showed smoke billowing out from the rooftop. More than 100 fire and EMS responded. Four firefighters sustained minor injuries, and the resident who's in his 70s that lives inside was taken to Jacoby Hospital in serious condition. In 2019, we reported on hoarding concerns there, including urine in the driveway, buckets of dead fish, flies, and mosquitoes. We just want him to get the help that he needs. We even brought the issue to then Mayor Bill de Blasio, who said, We will get out there immediately and see what we can do. The city issued some violations and sent a social worker, but the resident refused help. Neighbors showed us the dozens of complaints they've continued to file since 2019, but say again under Mayor Eric Adams, they were hung out to dry. I've seen them just drive by the house after a complaint. Fire department told us it's not if, it's when, and that's when they gave us the. Mm -hmm. The fire plan. Due to smoke and water damage, the families of the attached homes say they have to stay somewhere else for now. I don't think it's fair that we're stuck with all this damage. Even though the burnt materials are clearly encroaching on neighboring properties, neighbors tell me the city is telling them they cannot remove any of this still without the homeowner's consent. Health risk now. There's so many jugs of urine in there. The firemen found uh, needles upstairs, hypodermic needles. You know, I'm assuming they're insulin rodents. There's, they were pulling dead cats out of there like crazy. It stinks. There's dead animals, obviously. We've seen some. We don't know how many. There's cats trapped in the back under the mound because you can hear them. The bank owns the house. So who's, who's going to take responsibility? I think the city should do it. Of course they should do it, yeah. What are they saving? You know what I mean? It's a hazard. The Department of Buildings says a 2019 violation for failure to maintain the property was dismissed. And in 2020, when inspectors responded to a complaint about structural stability, they were denied entry. One noted there were no exterior concerns. The Departments of Sanitation, Health, and the Mayor's Office have not yet responded to our multiple emails. In Throgs Neck, the Bronx, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.